We're right at the beginning in a new phase in the miniaturization of technology, which means that it's finally possible to make a powerful computer small enough to wear comfortably on your body all day long. And there's a huge opportunity to bring rich user experiences to these devices. And that's why we're building Android Wear as our platform for wearables based on Android. Android Wear makes it easy for developers to reach users on this new form factor using precisely the same tools we're already familiar with on Android phones and tablets. People will, people will be wearing these small, powerful devices, so style is important. And that's why Android Wear supports both square and circular screens. And we think that there will be a wide variety of fashionable designs. Sensors will help them understand your context so they can provide useful information when you need it and help you reach your fitness goals. And as the device that you always have with you, your watch will also provide intelligent answers to spoken questions. And as Dave showed us earlier, act as your key in a multi-screen world. Across the world, people check their Android phones an average of 125 times every day. And that's why we've designed Android Wear to quickly show you relevant information and make sure you never miss an important message while letting you stay engaged with the people that you're actually with. We do this by working to understand the context of what you care about while enabling very brief interactions with the device. Let's take a closer look at some of the contextual information that Android Wear provides when you're traveling. So Jeff's about to leave on that big trip to the World, to the World Cup. It's the morning of his flight, so his phone is already displaying relevant information for his trip. He can see his flight status and even show his boarding pass. His hotel address will be there when he needs it, and he knows whether or not he'll need to pack an umbrella it does look like it's going to rain in Brazil on Friday. And once he's in Brazil, Android Wear continues to give him useful, timely information at a glance, whether it's his restaurant reservation, the time back at home so he knows when to call his family, or the local bus schedule. And while he's walking around the city, Jeff can see how many steps he's taken today, along with a step count history for the week. On devices that support it, he can even check his heart rate after a jog. So we've shown you what Android Wear can do out of the box. We're even more excited to see what developers build on top of this platform. With Pinterest, you can follow other people's pins. Pinterest app will let you know when you're near a place that's been pinned by someone you follow. So Jeff's friend Susie loves Korean barbecue, and she's somewhat of an authority on the best restaurants in San Francisco. So when Jeff is in the city, Pinterest can notify him that he's near one of Susie's pinned restaurants. The notification will appear on his wrist just like this, and it uses pages, allowing him to quickly glance at the details, then swipe to see a map. And if he likes it, he can start navigation right from his wrist. This is using Google Maps for mobile, which gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions on your watch. It's particularly useful when you're walking, and it works with all Android Wear devices. In addition to what's possible with notifications bridged from the phone, today we're making a full Android Wear SDK available, which enables you to write code <laughs> Eat24 is an app that makes food ordering both fun and easy. Now watch this. Hopefully, I'm going to order a pizza in 20 seconds. When it comes to takeout, I'm a creature of habit. And Eat24 has recognized this and takes advantage of that contextual stream. Around the same time I made an order last week, it posts a notification suggesting I order again. I can tap on the notification and launch into their full screen UI. And here, I'm presented with a beautiful interface that lets me confirm the kind of food I'd like today. Let's stick with pizza. And then I can quickly swipe to see and repeat my last order. Just one more tap to pay, and the pizza's on its way. I
I think that clocked in under 20 seconds. Lyft is a transportation service and ride sharing app that allows you to request a car to pick you up at your exact location. Lyft have implemented our call a car intent. So it's really easy to just walk outside and say, OK, Google, call me a car. You'll see that Lyft is able to determine Jeff's exact location from his phone and presents this confirmation screen so he can verify his address. The app has also made great use of notifications in the stream. You can see when your car has arrived, keep up to date throughout the journey, and even rate your driver right from your wrist when you're at your destination. Thanks to all our developers. Now, we showed a preview of a couple of watches we were working on with our partners back in March. The LG G Watch will be available to order later today on the Play Store. In addition, you might have caught a glimpse of a new device during the demos. We're very happy that Samsung is joining the Android Wear family with the Samsung Gear Live. And the Samsung Gear Live is also available to order later today. The Moto 360 is the first watch to adopt the round Android Wear UI, and it will be available for sale later this summer. Those are just the first three watches. There are many more on the way, and we're thrilled to enable developers across the world to build apps for what we believe will be a revolutionary new form factor.